So I wanted to start by asking you what does it symbolize for you to be here in Berlin and to show your work in the city? Well, uh, I'm very excited of course because you know given to my uh, family history uh, it's, it's exciting to be here in uh, Berlin um, and you know uh, the topic that I'm the way I'm working for years is uh, destruction and construction so the thing is that you know being here in Berlin is something that is uh, so uh, it symbolizes the way of life so you know after uh, being uh, the only child of a Holocaust survivor and then being here you know with a big exhibition and you know interesting uh, uh, things that I'm showing here, so this is this is very very exciting. I'm really very happy to be here and to mm -hmm. to reach the, this opportunity, of course, to to show my work here in Berlin. For years, I was looking for a material that I can wound it, mm -hmm. that I can damage it, that I can scratch it, I can burn it, and then, if it be possible, to build a new world from the chaos I'm creating. Yeah. Now the coke is a very, very interesting material. It's a tree. It's uh, the, the exterior of the bark of a tree, usually in the Middle East, in Portugal, in Nigeria, in, 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 in Spain and so on. First, it doesn't burn in a, in a, in a fire forest. Uh, every nine years, the, 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 the forest worker I are taking out the outside of the, the bark with axes. Mm. It's a very brutal procedure. But the tree is still alive. And after nine years, slowly he beat himself again and again. So this is something very interesting because this is, I think, a human wish, not only a Jewish wish, mm. to rebuild life after a chaos. The first stage in my work is a very, very massive destruction using unusual tools. Using unusual tools you get unusual results because I'm using screwdrivers, hammers, saws, everything that can damage the panel. I'm looking at a damaged panel and then I'm starting to think which of the lines would like to be together. And sometimes I'm doing it, as you can see here, on a map. Mm -hmm. This, for example, is an old Asian map. It's a German map from 1500 of Jerusalem. Working on maps, you know why? For a few years I'm working on maps because map is actually a, a fake document. I started it, uh, let's say, about a few years ago, thinking about using the obelisks uh, as a monument. Uh, because, you know, the obelisk was for years a very important Egyptian architectural monument telling the story of victories and uh, praying for God and, you know, and everything. So it's, all the obelisks are full with very, very small drawings that the Egyptian made for years. Uh, and suddenly when I looked, uh, I realized that the, uh, according to the tradition, to the Jewish tradition, the exodus of uh, the Jewish people from, from, from Egypt was about 2300 BC. And this is approximately when uh, the European started to find obelisk in Egypt, in, in the Middle East at all. Mm. So I thought, oh no, I believe that the Jewish slaves uh, participate building all those obelisks because they were slaves and they were of course the best builders in Egypt at the time so I decided you know what I'm going to do something that is a little hymnical I'm going to take these obelisks and then to tell on the obelisk with many 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 small drawings the story of the exodus of the Jewish people of, uh, from, from Egypt so we can say that your work, in a way, it has a universal nature because it evokes uh, various um, old civilizations and historical eras, but at the same time, it's very individual. So how does it um, relate to your personal life story and maybe your experience of 
living in the reality of Israel? Well, I grew up in a, in a home full of secrets. I was raised actually only by my father. Two people survived on the Holocaust without no family. Uh, my mother passed away when I was like 14 years old. So actually, nobody, nobody told me about what happened. For years, I felt even now somehow like a leaf without a branch, branch without a trunk, without roots, without nothing. I try to find uh, and to search about things about the history of family, but what family? Mm. Even the family name is not the real family name. My family name is Sher, but in Vilnius the words said that my father born is Rabinovich. So, so many secrets. I think this is the thing that while I'm scratching, burning with this brutal procedure, and I'm looking carefully to find what is the secret. Because there is a secret. My, home, my childhood home mm -hmm. was silence, mm -hmm. secrets, no mm -hmm. sharing, nothing. So I think that it influenced me to, to do a you know, brutal procedure mm -hmm. and very violent activities. Mm -hmm. That's all fantastic. Um, we wish you the best of luck and we are sure Thank there you. are a lot of people who are waiting to see all of your upcoming projects and exhibitions. It would be great, yes. Thank you. Thank you once again. It's a great space and I'm so happy to, <laughs> to be here.